Hello everyone, welcome to Pariksha Pedia. Today we will be studying the first chapter of English class 10th and the name of the chapter is Prayer which is a poem written by G. A. Mahjoor. So let's begin. So we are going to start the chapter with the line wise explanation of the poem. So the poet in the first six lines says, Lord, you are my hope and trust. Lead me to the way of truth. How long shall I dwell in ignorance? Pour me the nectar of knowledge. Lend air to my wailings and pleas. Cure me of ills and pains. Be kind each moment to me. Let me never feel in want. Save me from sloth, infirmity and doubt. Surcharge my heart with passion, zest and hope. So in these lines, the poet simply says that God, you are my hope and trust. He calls God his hope and trust. He wants God to lead him to the path of truth. The poet says that Lord, so far I have been living a life full of ignorance. Ignorance means without any knowledge. So he says that Lord, so far I have been living a life without any knowledge. Poor me the nectar of knowledge. He prays to God to bless him with the nectar of knowledge. He appeals to God to listen to his prayers. He prays to him to cure him of all the ills and the pains that he has in his life. He wants God to be kind to him every moment so that he would never feel the desire of anything in his life. Let me never feel in want simply means that poet wants God to be kind to him so that he would never feel the desire of anything in his life. After that, the poet says, God, save me from sloth, infirmity and doubt. Sloth means laziness, infirmity means weaknesses and doubt. So he wants God to save him from laziness, weakness and from doubts. Because he does not want to live a life full of doubts. So he wants God to save him from these things. After that, he prays to God to fill his heart with passion, with enthusiasm and with the hope. Let me not ever chant the sleep inducing tales. Let me sing the songs which infuse life into the dead. Let me sing of that inspires people with love and cause all bitterness and hatred to vanish. You brought me to bloom with the earliest vernal breeze. Let not the burning heat of summer wither me grey. So the poet wants something. He wants to remain active all his life. He does not want to sing any such tales, any such songs which can make one sleepy and lazy. He wants to sing such songs that can bring life into the dead. He wants to sing such songs that can inspire people to love, to cause all the bitterness and hatred to an end. He wants to sing such songs. He further says, that God, you brought me to bloom with the earliest vernal breeze. That it was God who filled his heart with the freshness of the earliest vernal breeze. Vernal means spring, earliest spring breeze. Let not the burning heat of summer wither me grey. This means 
that he does not want any such thing to happen that can end all the enthusiasm that he has in his heart. Like dew, how long shall I wait for the first flash of the sun? Awaken me with the flowers in the first stroke of the dawn. In form I am a man, in substance, far from humanity. Subject me not to trials, shame not my human form. Forsaken by men, I, and so they call me Mahjur. People may desert me thus, but you don't abandon me, Lord. In these lines, the poet first of all compares himself with the dewdrop. He says, like dewdrop, how long he has to wait for the first rays of the sun. He compares himself with the dewdrops that have to keep lying on the grass till the first rays of the sun come and give them the power to rise up. After that, he again compares himself with the flowers. Like flowers, how long he has to wait to get awakened in the first stroke of the dawn, in the first flash of the sun. Poet wants God to fill him with the power to rise. By the first two lines, the poet simply means that he wants God to fill him with the power to rise. After that, the poet says, in form, he may be a man, but in reality, he is far from humanity. He does not possess any such quality that a human has. He does not want God to put him to trials, to take his tests. He does not want God to shame his human form. But he wants God to fill his human form with humanity. Forsaken by men, I, and so they call me Mahjur. The poet says that I have been deserted by people. Forsaken means deserted. I have been deserted by people. I am helpless. And now they call me Mahjur, which means the deserted one. He says that people may desert him. They may left him alone, but you don't give up on me, Lord. Lord, you don't ever leave me alone. So this was the line-wise explanation of the poem, Prayer. In the next video, we will be studying the brief summary of this poem and also some of the poetic devices used in this poem. So thank you and keep supporting.